Hello, welcome to uh, Student It Presents. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick episode, straight off the cuff, no notes, no preparation on why rent matters, um, however value should come first. What do, uh, so rent, rent is obviously what you pay to live in a house student uh, accommodation. Value is a perception of what you think is good value for that price. So for instance, um, if we use coffee, most people see that there is value in the price they pay for Starbucks uh, and that's why they pay it. So they're, they're happier to pay uh, a higher price uh, because they see value in that product. Whether it tastes nicer, they use better beans, they use better products, um, it's better cups, it, it doesn't matter what it is. There, there is a bit of brand in there of course, however, um, and brand does play a part, but why you should look at value is because value is what you get out of it. Value is what you will get from living in that accommodation. So value could be having an on-site gym, having an on-site cinema room. It could be having the best letting agent in town. It could be choosing your own uh, coloured feature wall. It could be uh, getting Netflix in the communal areas. It could be having the best Wi-Fi. It could be getting a uh, present for Christmas, uh, the landlord dropping off presents on your birthday, um, getting Easter eggs on Easter, you know, having um, your garden maintained by a gardener and not you having to do it, you know, having a cleaner in once a week so you don't have to, the landlord gets it done for you. You know, there's all these different things that um, landlords and student accommodation providers will offer you um, as an in, uh, not an incentive, but something, you know, to uh, like a little gesture for you to try and book the room. Now the rent has to reflect that. Uh, if, if say for instance you're living in a, a single bedroom and your rent is £150 per week, um, let's say in sort of Sheffield, Nottingham, that sort of area, that is quite expensive. You're not really going to pay that because it's a single bed, which means it's a smaller room, you can't get as much in it, there's less storage space and you're looking at what else it has with it, um, you know, what else does the landlord offer, what else do you get in the room, you know. Do you get a really nice kitchen, like state-of-the-art hob, oven, uh, dishwasher and dryer? You know, are you getting those bits in return for the room? So when we look at overall cost, your overall cost is a deciding factor of a student room for any student because it determines whether you can afford it or you can't afford it. You know, and you need to look at how, if you can't afford it, are you going to make that money up? Are you going to work? Um, are you going to freelance? Are you going to get, you know, get a part-time job? You're going to work on the open days or with the SU, um, you know, all those kind of different things. How are you going to make up that money? Or do you go somewhere that you can afford, um, but you necessarily don't like and you don't see any value and it's, it is just a room? Um, people want an experience out of um, student accommodation. And it sounds mental. Um, I know a lot of people aren't on this concept yet, but student accommodation and lettings is an experience because they're looking for how they can make their lives easier. So, um, one thing that people will pay more for is fast and very good Wi-Fi. People will openly pay more for better Wi-Fi because it, it makes life so much easier. You know, when you're trying to do work, you need good Wi-Fi. When you're trying to um, just relax, uh, watch a bit of Netflix, uh, you want good Wi-Fi. Um, another one was a larger bed and bigger spaces. So obviously, the people like to live in comfort, um, good luxury, and they want that extra space. So student accommodation now has evolved from just offering a sort of bed in a room to what can the landlord and the letting agent do to make your experience really good. And this is your value part. And this is what you get from it. So um, are you looked after? Are your repairs done well? Are you catered for? Um, you know, do they make you feel at home? Do they make you feel secure? That is the value. Um, and people will always pay, you know, even I will pay more for something that I see value in. The problem with value is individual and there is no way to truly measure it, which makes it really hard for a student accommodation uh, provider to actually say, yeah, we provide a lot of value. How? It is an individual perception. What I think is valuable is not what you think is valuable. What you think is valuable is not uh, what the next person thinks is valuable. So value has different metrics for each individual student, and you have to measure that against yourself before you choose your accommodation. Um, some good things to look at value and how you can measure value, if there is a way to measure value, um, is how to 
How does the accommodation reduce hassle in your life? How does it reduce stress? Um, you know, does it make you feel comfortable? Do you trust the landlord and letting agent? Um, you know, what features do you get from it? Um, and value again, you have to look at the price. The reason why overall cost is a factor because you can measure the cost. You know, you can you can say right, well, this this house is ninety pound a week, and this house this house is ninety five pound a week. So you've got an automatic metric. What you don't see in the value is what the letting agents offer. And you go, would you would you rather you know say five pound a week and have a, a really bog standard uh, you know service, or pay five pound extra per week and have an amazing service, no repairs. Everything's done, and there's design on the walls, it's colourful, kitchen's immaculate, bathroom's spot on, and the bedrooms are as good as they can be. You know, for me, I would pay the, I'd pay the extra £5. There is a little bit of a, you know, you could go extreme and say, right, I'm not willing to pay an extra £150 for that, but I'd be willing to pay an extra 10 15 20 £30 for that kind of, uh, you know, service. And this is the value part, and this is why it came out of uh, recent research that, you know, people will look at what they get first over the cost. So they look at what you will offer, not what it, not what you charge. You know, if you if they think you offer a lot, they will look at your cost, and then they'll go right. Is it is it worth that cost? Yes, then they'll probably look and book a viewing. If not, they'll move on to the next provider. So students always look at what the letting agent and landlord student accommodation provider offers, and then look at the cost. That's the way it's working. And um, you know, there are. Value is a metric independent to you, so if you hold your values dearly, um, you know, they'll, they'll be letting agents that match up to you. Make sure that you match them up and you're willing to pay that amount. And I hope this was semi useful. It's a little bit of a ramble, um, you know, I haven't planned or prepared anything. I just wanted to tell you that as a student, you need to be looking at value and what the letting agents and the providers offer you before you look at the cost, because the cost um, is dependent on you. If you're happy to pay it, it doesn't matter what the cost is, you know. Some people are happy to pay for Sky at eighty pound a month, say whatever it is, um, you know, because they they feel like they get value from it. You know, we're all happy to pay for faster Wi-Fi when nothing much can change, but we perceive there's better value in faster Wi-Fi. Right, so it's less hassle. So again, hope this was useful for you. Um, if you want to see some more more structured ramblings, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, view the other videos, and. Follow me on Instagram where I'm most active and that's student hyphen it. Good to see you.